Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Tammy from Lou Fru Fru Studio and today we're going to do um, our Marguerite Miller weekly challenge and we are on week 31. So for those of you that are new, Marguerite Miller has a weekly assignment. Um, this is volume two for this year, and she gives you 52 weekly prompts that you are to make a collage, um, and you can use either her planner that she has available, or you can buy just the prompts, which is what I did, and um, put those in a glue book or a sketchbook or an altered book, whatever you would like. Um, you can find the prompts or the planner at her Etsy store, which is Mellow Miller. So, like I said, we're on week 32, and I have been doing mine in just a regular old sketchbook. There's nothing special about it. Um, it's just a cheapo sketch diary and it's nine and a half by six. This is a pretty good size for me to work in um, for these collages and I have done all of these. Uh, I have, uh, they're all available in a playlist on my YouTube channel if you want to see any of the other previous collages. And this was last week's, so we are on, like I said, week 31, and again, we're going to go up and down, and I'm going to flip this open so I have a little bit flatter surface. Okay, let's look at the prompts. We have something with a spine, a path or road, your least favorite color, a formula, a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle, and the bonus is a dried leaf or flower. Now for the bonus prompt, you can choose to substitute it for one of the other prompts. Um, if you don't like something or don't have it, can't find it, whatever. Um, I usually try to do all six. Um, when I saw the prompts this week, I knew immediately where I was gonna go until I got to a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. And I had to get a little bit creative on that one because I could not find one of those anywhere in any of my stash. So I'm stretching that one a little bit. But something with a spine, um, you know, being a journaler, of course, my first thought was, a book spine. So I have a book spine here or a copy of. And so as you can see, we are going off to see the wizard this week. A path or a road. I have this picture of the Emerald City, which has the yellow brick road. Um, my least favorite color is yellow. So of course we have the yellow brick road. And I also have some flowers that I'm going to incorporate as a yellow. And um, the next one is a formula. And so my formula is going to be brought in by my favorite character in the book, which is Scarecrow. And so I've created a little bubble for after he receives his brains. And it has E equals MC squared. So that's our formula. Now, the crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. Like I said before, that's the one that I had problems with. Now, I did have the scrap of um, scrap big paper. And it kind of resembles a crossword and I thought maybe I could black in some of the squares to make it look more like a cross crossword and maybe put a couple of words in it. We're going to see what we can do to alter that to kind of make that um, look more like a crossword but that's the closest I could come so that's where we're going to go. 
and then um, the bonus was a dried leafer flower. And so I have these little dried purple flowers and some eucalyptus leaves. That was the only dried flowers that I could find that I was willing to um, use. I have some dried hydrangeas that are out of my garden, um, but I didn't want to destroy those. So that's what we're going to go with. So, and I think the purple works well with the colors anyway. So that's where we're going to go. And we will see what happens here. So the first thing is I've already kind of cut this to the size of the page. And so it's going to go down as the background for the most part. And then I took a page out of the book and tore a hole in it. And so I'm going to have my little Emerald City coming through that. And so I need to ink around this edge and around the edge of the whole thing here to get this ready to go. So how is everybody? I hope everybody has had a good week. I am filming this over the weekend and so the new week hasn't started yet for me. I'm just going to grunge this up a little bit and make it, you know, look like it's a hole in the page. Kind of roll some of these edges up. Hope everybody can see okay. It's kind of dark and gloomy here today. We're supposed to get some rain and maybe some storms. And so the, I don't have a lot of natural light in here. I do have my overhead light on. So I'm hoping that's given enough light. And all I did for this is, um, I'll show you here in just a second, it's actually the back cover of the book that I'm using. And I just ran a photocopy of it. I figured since it was for me and I'm just making a collage with it that's not going anywhere, that I could do that okay. I'm not getting... I'm gonna figure out what kind of tighters we're going to have. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm definitely going to have to um, edit my video a little bit. My husband came up here, and he is from up north, and so he makes fun of me all the time for my southern accent. And he came up here to talk about dinner, and he was... <laughs> He came into the room saying, we ought to figure out what kind of taters we're having for dinner. And I got tickled, so I had to stop the video. So I apologize for that, and I will edit it out because it was way over the top. <laughs> okay, back to where we were. Um, I have this page now inked up. And distressed. And kind of wrinkled. So that's going to go there like that. So I think we can go ahead and put down these two pieces so that we've got our foundation. Oh, I was going to show you my book, too, that I took the... Most of the photos inside, or the illustrations inside, are black and white. Um, but the cover is very colorful. So that's where I got this off of, is the cover. Actually, the back of the book. 
So this is the book and this is the front and this is the back. So I just, like I said, ran a photocopy of the back. And um, since, you know, I'm using this nowhere, but for me, I can get by with that. But um, as you can see, there's a couple of color illustrations, but most of them are black and white. So, that is not sticking. Okay, there we go. So, now we're going to put down the book page and get our little Emerald City with our yellow brick road coming through. And I actually probably need to take a little bit more off the edge. I think I'm going to do it. I like where it says Emerald, the Emerald City of Laws right there. So I think I'm going to do it off this side and hope I don't tear my circle here. And do it this way just to be sure. A lot of good it did me to ink around that edge, huh? I don't care that a little bit of the picture behind is going to stick out, although I can move it where it won't, I think. Okay. A little bit fiddly here. Okay, I think that'll work. So let's get some glue on that. When I say yellow is my least favorite color, not all yellows, just like bright sunny yellow, I don't like. I love like a mustard color yellow. But I'm not a fan of not a fan of bright like sunshine yellow. I like all colors, I guess, but if I have to pick one I use the least, that would be it, I would say. Okay, so there is our book page down. Now, I'm going to put my spine across here because that is what I'm going to set Scarecrow on. I'm going to make sure that I get him so he's not covering up so you can still see the path, the road. So that may need to go all the way down at the bottom. Yeah, so let's do right at the tip of that black here. Fold that over a little bit. So, my little book spine is going to go right there. Okay. 
Times Ink Up Mascara Pro. I kind of want, <clears throat> excuse me, like the idea of him being black and white with the Emerald City being in color because it kind of reminds me of the movie, you know, where it was all black and white until she got to Oz, so... off right there. And this right here. So I can get it a little closer in. Okay, so he's going to go right there. I need to get my glue book over here so I'm not messing up my Margaret Miller prompts, but I don't see it. I don't see it too handy at the moment. Okay, and now let's put on our little formula. And this is just a piece of the actual book page that I tore off here and I just stamped it with letter stamps. And I've got two little dots out of my hole punch that I'm going to put on here to kind of look like, you know, thought, thought circles. I did have two. Where's the other one? There it is. sticking to my finger more than it's sticking to the page. Okay, so there's our formula. Wipe my fingers off here. Oh, they're nasty already. Get that with just a touch of vintage photos so they're not so white. Okay, so far so good. So now what we have to do is incorporate our puzzle, which I kind of worked on when I was recovering from laughing from my hubby's visit. Goofball that he is. Um, and this is what I did. I just took my Stabilo All and I blacked in, <clears throat> excuse me, blacked in some of the squares. And then I just took my Tim Holtz words and put, there's no place like home. Um, and I think I'm going to put it, you know, somewhere in there. Something like that. 
But first, I want to figure out how I'm going to do these flowers and leaves. I kind of wanted to kind of cascade them. Around the hole. A little bit. And I've got several colors. That kind of go with the background. And I guess I should just pull these off. Figure out these. And like I said, this is just eucalyptus. Which is going to make this page smell really good. And then I've got some really little purple ones that I thought I could stick in there, kind of going up. Onto the inside of the circle, somehow not cooperating. Got the little yellow one. There's another yellow. I've got a couple of reds because we got to have something kind of reminiscent of the poppies. I'm wondering, do I need some up here as well? Although that's the sky. Oh, you know what might be cute up there is a hot air balloon stamp or something. I bet I could find one of those in my anti anti antiquarian sticker book. Let me grab that. It's fairly close. Oh, I got Toto. Toto as well. So he may go right there. And I say it's right there, and then I go to grab it. Oh, there it is. I start to say I go to grab it, and it's not there. I'm pretty sure there's hot air balloons in here. This one's purple. We've got that one. And we've got this one, which is a little fancier.
think I like the purple one so far. Let's see what else we got. There's a big one. It ain't gonna work though, because it's got, sorry, I'm sure you can't see. That one's got a horse on the bottom. That one's too big. That one's too big. It's got some kind of weird ship or something on the bottom of it. I think I like the purple one because I think it looks like a man in there waving. I'm going to take a little bit more of the sedge off. we go I like that okay so <clears throat> let's get our flowers glued down I don't even know if I'm going to use that purple it says dried flowers or leaves and I got the eucalyptus leaves <coughs> excuse me so I think we're going to stick with those. Let's ink around Toto here. And I think I'm going to put him, I'm going to put my 31 right here. And put Toto kind of sitting by the number right there. <clears throat> Oops. All right, now, see what we can do by getting these. Glue down. You have to use fabric tack on those if they don't adhere here in a minute.
Okay, put some red ones. These are just little paper flowers from Hobby Lobby. I think they're part of the paper source line. Or something. Whatever they're in-house store brand is. There's nothing special about them. I like them though because they're tiny and they're pretty flat. And um, so they don't cause a whole great deal of bulk. Do want some more of those tiny ones so all right let's cooperate let me see what i got um, paper studio and i get them when they're half off they have, you know, a couple of different sizes and a few colors. That was the only little yellow one I had left, though. A little bitty yellow one. Okay, so the only thing we have left is our little puzzle piece. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me here. So I'm wondering. It's like the one little... always one little wrench in the process. Maybe I'll do it like that. And then maybe put a couple more flowers. What's my other cup? Oh, that one. I'm throwing stuff. Let's see that is that gonna look weird because I don't have any yellow up there. I feel like I need another red one right there. Okay. 
Maybe I can put a piece of yellow paper. Bring some paper in. Two. Flipping through my book to see if I see any yellow flowers. Small enough to kind of put in the background. Just to bring that yellow color up to the top. This one has a couple of yellows in it. Let's try. See if we can get a couple of those off. This one down here. Yeah, I think that'll work. I've got just a couple more little leaves here. We can stick up there. Okay. Stick those stickers down so I don't lose where they go.
it's probably a lot easier if I'd use my tweezers to try to manipulate this stuff. I need maybe we will use this but maybe I'll just tear off the little Nah. Nah. I do need one more purple one there, though. Oops. In this hole. Okay, now I'm going to take my civil awl and my water brush and I'm going to ground the little puppy here and I'm going to do some work around the little scarecrow. And I think I'm going to do a little bit inside the hole here to kind of create a little bit of depth. And then I think I am going to 
and oh, I put I put my brush top on my stability wall. Um, I'm gonna look for some yellow paper just to kind of bring out the yellow a little bit more. <clears throat> Let me grab my little scrap. My small scrap box. Which is just a cigar box. Let's see if I have something in yellow. Probably not a lot. Because I don't work with it much. There's some off a of jelly print. That's more of a mustardy color, but. Yeah, we're not, we're not, uh, overwhelming in the yellow department here. Something from, like, a B paper. About it, folks. <clears throat> I just feel like I want something here. So. And I don't think I want it to be flowered. I think I'm going to try this jelly plate piece first. And I'm also put a piece up here. And then just a little tiny spot right there. See one more thing I'm gonna do. 
on the outline ridges a little bit. All right, I believe that has it. Let's double check, make sure we got everything and I think we did. So we have something with a spine, which Toto has a spine too. So we have that covered. A path or a road, my least favorite color, a formula, a crossword, that's stretching it, but we got it. And then dried leaves or feathers. So I think we have everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I will be back on Thursday for another episode of I saw it on Pinterest, and I hope you join me for that as well. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time. Bye.